what you saw on this film, the people are real Ben Hill County clients. They're part of the demonstration project. The ultimate goal, we hope, is to create the first legal clinic in Georgia focused on representing low income, moderate income, even regular folks who have heirs property so that we can unlock that stranded investment. The research that Cam and Frank both talked about is in a very small, thank goodness, report. I've got copies on the table. More than 260 volunteer lawyers and other professionals went to the trouble and went to the detail of going through the individual tax um, on Q Public, the individual tax parcels, and then on uh, round five, but real estate attorneys went to the superior, superior courts to look at the actual court records. And the, um, it's basically, this is our, our, our market test in five counties alone, over $58 million in stranded investment that can be unlocked if title is cleared. So we had the opportunity of being here in this room, uh, not even a month ago, showing this video, talking to the Rotary Club, and talking about our dream. Our dream is to build this virtual clinic, to take advantage of this broadband capability that you all have talked about earlier today, where we can match the lawyers who are around up in uh, the metro area and connect them to folks using the capability of broadband so that we can help them to clear their title, help them to access resources then, because then they'd be eligible to access USDA grants and then translate their land into true assets that can be their wealth. Their wealth that helps the county, that helps the municipality, that helps their community. This is a win-win, and so on November 12th and 13th, the state director for the Rural De Development of USDA has asked that I go up to D.C., and thank goodness I've got a college roommate who lives in D.C., because I'm going to spend the night on, in her guest room or on her couch, and I'm going to go and talk to the assistant uh, secretary for USDA and see if we can qualify for a major public-private grant, and we want to do it in Ben Hill County. We want to situate it in Ben Hill County, and I need your support. I have a, um, a petition here. It would be great to come in with names, and guess whose first name is up at the top of it? O.D. Netter. If O.D. can sign this, I hope you all will think about it too, and I'll be leaving that on the table for you all. Frank, do you have just a couple words to say about the, the relationship between Ben Hill and, and George Apple This, this is a demonstration yeah. project. We hope that everything we produce here is going to be exportable. In other words, it'll be something that you can take to any county, not only in the state of Georgia, but any county in the South that struggles with these problems of per pervasive poverty and give them some tools to where they can change the dynamic. And that's what this, this program is all about. And indeed, even though we say it's in Ben Hill, we'll be serving the District 11. Absolutely. Thank you, Odie. You saw it. You knew it. Um, this is not just a Ben Hill thing, but we've been so lucky to be have a demonstration project with Ben Hill. Yes, I'd like to introduce our partners, the Mayor Mark Massey and Cam George, and all the stand. situation they then become eligible to be able with proper financial literacy to access the wealth in their property and that can help to fix the home or can help to finance the college education or can help to to help their own family become better so that's, that's all so the much. banks too by the way oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't we lucky then? Uh, <laughs> thank you all so much for your time yeah.